Good morning all. I am Sri Vidya, working as assistant professor in the department of CSIT. Today we are going to see the data types in C. Data types. This is the overview. Types of data types. I am going to discuss primary data types, derived data types, enum data type, and void data type. Let's see each and every one one by one. Next, data types. Data types in C programming language are used to specify what kind of value that can be stored in a variable. Okay, so it is used to specify what kind of value that can be stored in a variable. Let us consider. We all know that this one a, b, c. Let's consider. We have three variables a comma b comma c. Suppose if I have one data, my data is five. I want to store this five data to a variable. So certainly I will assign this data to a variable. Suppose if I want to store b is equals to 2.5 2.5 is obviously a float number or a decimal number this value will be this value will be stored in a variable b i have assigned this value to a variable b suppose if i want to store any character characters are always represented in single quotes so if my data is this one certainly i will allocate this data to a variable c so here 5 is of type integer here 5 is the data that is of type integer next 2.5 is a floating value which is which is a type of float and which is allocated to the variable b next a is a character type data that is allocated to the variable c so here in the first line what kind of value can be stored to a variable what kind of value whether it is an integer float a character or a bigger number like this what kind of value or what type of value you are storing you are you are giving to a variable c language has some predefined set of data types to handle various kinds of data what is a predefined so already some data types were defined used to handle various kinds of data that can we can use in our program so data type also specifies how much memory to be allocated and what type of values are to be stored in that variable so how much memory to be allocated suppose in the same example i have taken a is equals to 2 2 is the data that i will give to the variable a so how many bytes will a computer or the memory manager will be reserved for this variable a we all know 1 byte equal to 8 bits so how many bytes of data will be reserved for this variable a in your memory so that is how much memory is to be allocated for what type of value and what type of value are storing in that variable in the c programming language data types are classified as generally data types are classified into three categories one we have primary and other one is derived the second category and the next category is user defined so in primary data types we have int float char double and void derived data types are arrays pointers structures and unions these come these data types comes under derived data types next one user defined data types user defined data types are enum and type def or type def these are the uh, data types are categorized into three types one is primary second one is derived and third one is user defined so we will see the primary data types primary data types in the c programming language are the basic data types primary data types are also called as the built in data types means they are already predefined the primary data types in c programming language are like i said integer float double and character next one integer data type so if you define or if you declare any variable under the type integer so the size of the integer is 2 bytes and the range is from minus 3 to 768 to 3 to 767 see always if a data type like suppose integer it is having again it is divided uh, having the modifier like signed int and unsigned int okay so here the type integer if you declare any data under the type integer the size of that integer that data will be taken 
2 bytes and the range is from minus 3 to 7 6 8 to 3 to 7 6 7 next short int is 2 bytes it is also same the range minus 3 to 7 6 8 to 7 3 to 7 6 7 here see the format specifier format specifier is of it is percentile d so what is format specifier so you are declaring a variable which is of type integer so int a equal to 2 okay while executing we have the function scanf function so in the scanf function you should mention the format specifier of type so which type the data is taking like integer is your data type so the format specifier is obviously it is percentile d next long int is of 4 bytes unsigned in 2 bytes unsigned long int is 4 bytes next one here this is a sample program on integer data type so first we will write last session we have seen the structure of a c program so we have to include the header file hash include stdio.h and main section we have declared here one two three three variables int a int b and int c and a is assigned the value 10 b is assigned the value 20 and c is assigned the value 20 again another variable was declared int d that is assigned the value 97 see obviously we are printing all the values here so printf integer data type like just now tell you in the format specifier for the type integer is percentile d so how many variables first we are here we are printing the three variables so percentile d a and percentile d for this one and percentile d for the variable d so how many variables you are using in your program so if you want to print them you have to use the format specifiers next again we have printed percentile d comma c so the format integer is of data integer is a data type and the format specifier for integer is percentile d next one float data type floating data types are set of numbers with the decimal value every floating point value must contain the decimal value so the float point, uh, floating point data type has two variants here one is float the other one is double we use the keyword float to represent the floating point value and the data type and double to represent the double data type in c both float and double are similar but they differ in the number of decimal places see if you declare any variable under the type float float a is equals to 2 suppose 2.5 like this you can declare next double b is equals to So, float the difference between float and double is float value contains 6 decimal places whereas double value contains 15 or 19 decimal places. So, this is the sample program written for the float. Float A, float B, float C. Again, 3 variables were declared and each and every variable was assigned some value. A is equals to 2.88, B is equals to 5.5 and C is 2.25. Float D equals to 3.14. So, printf percentile f the format specifier for float is percentile f the format specifier for integer is percentile d and format specifier for float is it is percentile f and double it is percentile ld and long double also percentile ld uh, the double size is 8 bytes and long double is 10 bytes if you want to declare any variable under float so the memory manager will reserve for that variable suppose like this here we have taken int d is equals to 3.14 okay d is a variable in that we have the data 3.14 so now for this d 4 bytes will be reserved okay next one character data type the character data type is a set of characters enclosed in single quotes char c is equals to a my data is a so i want to assign a variable uh, data a to a variable c so this is assigning character data type the size of character data type is given one byte and unsigned char is also one and the range is from minus 128 to 127 and unsigned char is 0 to 255 the format specifier for character is percentile c so in scanf scanf so you will represent like this percentile c comma address of c here we have taken the variable c so this is the sample program for to print program on character data type int a uh, one variable was declared under the type integer char b b is a variable which is of type character c is a variable which is of type character next a is equals to 67 67 uh, a is integer so integer data was assigned to the variable a next t 
t is a variable that is assigned to b x is a variable uh, sorry t is a data and x is also your data and b a b c are your variables next z is your data that is assigned to the variable d and we have used the format specifier percentile c to represent the character data type and percentile d to represent the integer data type next void data type void data type means nothing or no value generally the void is used to specify a function which does not return any value we also use the void data type to specify the empty parameters of a function so if you want to, nothing there to return in your program just simply we can use void data type next one enumerated data type enumerated data type is an user defined data type that consists of integer constants and each integer constant is given a name the keyword enum is used to define the enumerated data type next one obviously this is derived data types previously i have given this one like i have mentioned uh, primary derived and user defined data type so array structures and unions or uh, comes under derived data types so in this session we have seen the predefined data types with the sample programs and user defined data types enumerated data type comes under uh, this one user defined data types and derived data types are arrays unions and structures in the coming sessions we are going to see these two data types clearly so now we have discussed this predefined data types thank you in the next session we will see the operators in c thank you